Oh my days. What is he doing? <laughs> thank you very much for clapping and thank you very much for staying behind to listen to how I answer the question on my maths A level. Siobhan said it wouldn't be interesting, but I said it was. She didn't tell me what I should use, so I decided to use all the machines and all the computers in the theater, including the L3500 arc lights, which are moving lights. Nope. Nope. We don't have <laughs> <laughs> Light emitting diodes. Nope. 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 Uh, how you feeling first read through? It was really good. Everyone's really sweet. And it was nice to have, like, other faculty that are advising us in the space because it's been a lot of days of just us going, this is really good, we hope it's good. Um, <laughs> so having having a little feedback, it was really nice and it was very positive. And it's just, yeah, it's really fun to have our, our funky little space get to be like shared with people that are like teaching theater all the time. Yeah. Because that's that's important exposure. Hell and yeah. It was really cool. Oh my God. And everyone's really good. Oh my God, thank you. Yeah. I can because I went to London on my own. She looked at him. I solved the mystery of who killed Wellington. She looked at him. I found my mother. I was brave. You were. And I wrote a book. I know. I read it. We turned it into a play. Yes. <laughs> Does that mean I can do anything, do you think? Does that mean I can do anything, Siobhan? Does that mean I can do anything? It was so good. Everyone's so talented. And it was so cool to hear it, like, come together. I haven't heard these people do these characters since callbacks. And it was really, really awesome. Um, this cast is... Phenomenal. They're so good. Absolute fire. I'm so excited. Yay! Amazing. Love you. Oh my god, first read through. Uh first read through. It was so fun. Um, I'm so excited to get all of these people on a stage because like I know we said we weren't giving notes. My one note is that the energy was just a little bit low, but that's because we're sitting at a table. So I'm just I'm everyone's so also during a finals week. During <laughs> finals week, I'm so so excited for just getting all of these so cool, wonderful, amazing people on a stage and seeing what they can do because so many of them have not done theater before. So and they're insanely skilled for having not done theater yeah, before. They are insanely skilled for not having done theater, and they're they're just they soak up information and critique like sponges and so i'm so excited to start working for real these did you have a favorite moment nothing's coming to my mind because stress okay wait hear me out my favorite moment is the end of the show the math problem but we all got super <laughs> pumped about that math problem i hate my math favorite, but i liked that my favorite moment was was one of our one of our actors pulled out uh their, their like recording voice uh, and just sounded like a terrain recording, and it, that was amazing. Fun. It's delicious. It's creamy. It's only one pound thirty. Hot shop deluxe. I really enjoyed that when the math problem started. I got to like that is n squared plus, and I immediately saw Shan pull out a piece of paper and start <laughs> scribbling. It's important. And just do the actual math problem, and it was really fun and nerdy. Yeah. It was good. That Look at Shan like, doing math. math. It actually helped me understand algebra more than any other means of teaching. Nerd. Um, yeah. Fun times. Anyway, love you. Bye. Have a good break. See you all later. Start the clock. A right angled triangle is made using projections or lasers if you have money or holograms if you are in the future. <laughs> <laughs> I love Simon Steven so much. Okay. If a triangle is right angled, one of its angles will be 90 degrees and will therefore follow Pythagoras' theorem. Pythagoras said that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. To put it simply, if you draw squares outside the three sides of a right angle triangle, then add up the area of the two smaller squares, this will be equal to the area of the larger square. This is only true if the triangle is right angled. I'm assuming this is a reference to the TV show Bluey. Come on, Bluey, what the fuck? Anyway. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's a really dog cartoon. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I thought it just came out after, whatever. Oh, whatever, okay. <laughs> The A-level question is an algebraic formula for making right-angled triangles. m squared plus 1 is the biggest number in this equation, which makes it the hypotenuse, which is the longest side of the triangle. To find the area of a square, you must multiply the length by the width. So the area of this square is 2n times 2n, which equals 4n squared. The area of this square is n squared minus 1 times n squared minus 1, which equals n to the 4th minus 2n squared plus 1. And now if we add those two squares together, this equals n to the 4th plus 2n squared plus 1. Now, we need to find the area of the square on the hypotenuse, which is n squared plus 1 times n squared plus 1, which equals n to the 4th plus 2n squared plus 1, which is the same term. So, the area of the two small squares add up to the area of the larger square. So, all my squares fit together to satisfy, satisfy Pythagoras' theorem, so the triangle is right-angled, and that is how I got an A star. Woo! 
Although you might have noticed that there's two different uh, people wearing two different clothes on two different days. We had a production meeting the day after we had the read through to talk about our ideas. Um, and I didn't get a chance to record thoughts after last night because I was just so jazzed. Um, everybody is so talented, even like, oh my gosh, I don't even have like, I don't even have words for it. I, I'm so proud of these people that they just pulled up the script. A lot of them hadn't even like read it cover to cover yet. Um, and just pulled this amazing, like, I almost cried at the end level, um, level artistry and that we got to see that and that some of our professors came and got to see that and got to realize that this is really happening. We're really doing this because obviously like we as a group have been together for, uh, at least two, two and a half months now. And we've been working on some other stuff that you'll find out about in a bit. Um, but this is kind of our first time since callbacks to really sit down and talk about the characters and talk about this text and really dig into it and it's hitting it's hitting this is this is real this is actually happening we are actually doing this and uh everybody's thinking so big and imagining the most perfect beautiful amazing show and as a director that is terrifying because i don't know how we're going to be able to do it but i know that we are and i I don't even have a mental image of how cool it's going to be, but I know that it's going to be really cool and that I trust this team with my life. Um, and yeah, so anyway, we are all off to winter break from now. Uh, so there'll be a couple things post. Obviously, I as a YouTuber are going to continue posting. We're going to be posting stuff on our social media as well as time uh, goes on as we're off over break. But yeah, we're really excited to hit the ground running in uh, end of January, early February. And uh, we got we got quite the show for you. And I'm really excited about it. So, yeah, stay tuned.